Hey everyone, uh, my name is Rose Ifrié and I'm one of the founders of M Relief and today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, what stops people who are in poverty from getting the help that they need. So um, the f there are some early indications that one of the things that really interfere with people being able to get the help that they need is stigma, right? The mark of disgrace on a particular circumstance preventing someone from getting food stamps. And um, just to show you a little bit about some of the work uh, that I do is I work on campaigns that can help identify people who are likely eligible but are not receiving the benefit. So here's an example of a campaign that we posted on Facebook to help people find out that they qualify in New York. Unfortunately, what ended up happening next is that people made a lot of really discouraging comments. So one being, come one, come all, get your freebies. Or another, advertising for stealing, nice, uh, but this should probably be in a few languages. And so we did some measuring afterwards to find out how exactly this affected people coming to our platform and finding out whether they actually qualified for the benefit. And so we found out at least uh, after these comments were made, that this coincided with a 10% decrease in eligibility discovery. We also uh, measured some of these uh, instances against other campaigns that we had run. So here's an example of another one that we posted of a girl with the tomato, super cute. Um, but in response to that, <laughs> one of our commenters woke up at 6.33 a.m. to imply <laughs> <laughs> that people should try and get a job before they apply. And this is really frustrating because there's a lot of data, and specifically a 2016 study from the Institute for Research on Labor and Employment that shows that three quarters of the people helped by programs geared to the poor are members of a family headed by a worker. So it's not true that often the people who are on public assistance are different from the people who are employed. And uh, and this specific comment really did dissuade uh, certain users because it coincided with a 27% decrease in eligibility discovery. I think this is a starting point for our organization to do more research. We certainly don't think all of these statistics are bulletproof, but I want to leave you with this statistic. Um, so one thing to note is that so many children are positively impacted when their parents get assistance that they need. So if not for a program such as the food stamp program, 2.1 more children would have been in poverty between 2012 and 2014. So it matters. It matters what you say to people uh, when you're discouraging them around things that have to do with poverty. Uh, and it also matters what you post. Um, because in America today, discouraging someone in poverty um, might cost their family $255 a month on average. Thank you.